So <laughs> just you know, go out and have fun and play and execute. Does the fact you play at the end of last year kind of change? I think the kind of attention that you might have gotten otherwise from, from fans and curiosity about it. Yeah, I mean, I do. I think if I was coming into this year with no experience really at all, I, I'm sure everybody would be, you know, concerned um, not having any big time game reps in that atmosphere. But I felt like I learned a lot. I felt like I faced adversity and success in both games. And I, I believe going into Clemson, you know, it's unfortunate how it happened, but I think it, it helped me out a lot. That's in, uh, you've said that each of the three quarterbacks behind you are kind of a little different maybe in, in their skill sets, but in terms of just arm release, is it, how has Bryce looked? He, a lot of people talk about his arm and how quick he gets ready. Yeah, I mean, I think Bryce has the best arm out of all of us. Um, you know, he, he has a God-given arm that, you know, I wish I had. Um, um, so, and I tell him that all the time. I, you know, I tell him just, you know, you got it from here to here, you know, and now it's just mental and, and, and bringing all the mechanics and putting it all together. But um, that's something you can't teach is, you know, have, just having God given oil and he has it. Did it surprise you at first? He's not the biggest guy. He's not, you know, Stafford out there slinging it. Um, you know, it's weird how it works because LeMay, LeMay had a big arm too, um, but he was a lot skinnier than a lot of guys. You know, he, he was only like 190, 195, but he could whip it too. So, um I don't know. I, I can't figure it out. It's just something and some guys have it, some guys know. What's your perspective on the new defense that Jeremy has installed it? Um, you know, I see I see a lot, guy, a lot of guys flying around the ball. When I'm watching film, I see a lot of guys, uh, if the ball's on the upside of the field, I see guys hustling, rallying for the plays. Um, you know, some of that you didn't see last year. So I see a lot more effort and intensity by far. I mean, it's night and day. Thank you. Yep. So you kind of just—I know you only got one year left, but um, and I know it's just spring ball. But do you kind of feel like, hey, this was what I waited all that time for, and does it feel kind of like worth the wait? Yeah, I mean, no doubt. I, uh, you know, just just being here for four years or five years and going through what I've gone through, and uh, for that moment to kind of be in the present now. Um, growing up, such a huge SEC fan, you watch guys like. You, you see Shock and you see David and guys like that, and you realize, like, man, wow, well, that's a dream come true. And now that I'm in that, it's, you know, I just feel like another guy. You know, it's, um, I know people look at me like, you know, he's the UGA quarterback, but for me, it, it doesn't really feel any different. Um, and sometimes I feel like I need to sit back and, and take it in more because sometimes I feel like, man, I feel, should, should feel special to some, um, to some extent, but. You know, I don't, I don't know. I realize that it's going to go by quick, and I realize um, this is a great opportunity, and I really just passionately want to make the most of it. Um, and, I, you know, that's why I'm so passionate about, you know, my teammates and them doing the right thing and collectively as a, as a group doing all we can on and off the field to win a championship. How did the dynamics change as, as the leader of the offense? And, and, you know, everyone knowing you're the number one quarterback. The dynamics within the offense, how does that change for you? Are you just talking about as far as like play calls and? Well, yeah, I was talking more about just your role as, as the leader. You know? right. I, I mean, I know you're preparing for all the games if right. you play anyway, but in terms of, of your role as, as the leader on that side of the ball. Yeah, I mean, I, there's no doubt that I'm on a very high pedestal and people are going to always be watching me on and off the field. And, um, you know, I, I've done. You know, I, I feel like I've held myself to a high standard, but you know, I've done stupid things, and I'm like, man, I shouldn't have done that. And uh, you know, you live and learn, and uh, you realize that you're not really, you're not who you were for the first four years. You know, you're the starting quarterback now. A lot more people are going to know who you are, especially come the fall. And um, I put a lot of pressure on myself to hold myself to a high standard. And it, at being the UJ quarterback, you have to do that. Um, and so I think. That comes with your teammates also looking to set that example. And if you set the example, set the bar high. Hopefully, the guys, other guys on the team, are going to see that there's a there's a way to act, there's a way to respect people, teachers, on and off the campus. And so I think that all comes with the dynamics of being a leader. What are a couple of main things you learned from Aaron in those four years? I think a, it's just a lot of preparation, being a gym rat. Um, I think one of the reasons why I had some success. And I had some failures too, but some, 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 some success was just, I always saw him for my first year, second year, third year prepare, and I always did that. And, you know, there were a lot of times I never got to play, and I put in just as much work as him. 
but I was prepared when my opportunity came. And that was one thing I always said is I'm never going to let my opportunity come and not be prepared because um, I put in a lot of work for it. So just a lot of preparation. I was trying to remember, was today the first practice Aaron had come to since he yes, it was. got hurt? Mm -hmm. what, did it? Well, how was it today? Was it weird having him over there? Yeah, it was It was definitely weird. Nothing I, you know, him being never being hurt, you never saw him just standing over there in a green jersey with no pads on. So oh, yeah. seeing him, uh, it was, yeah, it was yeah, definitely yeah. real fun. Did it help a 